There are calls tonight for the health minister to resign after an elderly man was left overnight in a gymnasium at Fiona Stanley Hospital. Kim Holmes has blamed the bungle on a breakdown of administrative procedures and says he'll apologise. The $2 billion Fiona Stanley Hospital promised Perth patients world-class care. Instead, it's been plagued by problems. Today, the latest to emerge, a severely ill elderly man left in the hospital's gymnasium for eight hours. No toilet, no medical equipment. It, it's absolutely gobsmacking. The patient in his 70s had kidney failure. He'd been given a handbell to ring in case of emergency. No windows, no call service, no instruments. Uh, simply putting them in the corner of a gymnasium and pulling the curtain around them. Clearly it's not an adequate situation where you've got someone having to use a bell that may or may not have worked. The man arrived by ambulance last Sunday but was moved into the gym, apparently described by staff as a holding room. It did have a sucker there, it did have oxygen there, it did have a curtain, but it's just, it's just not good enough. And, and I know that. And we've all heard about corridor care, but even I haven't heard about gymnasium care. According to the Minister, there are plenty of beds here at Fiona Stanley. The problem is a breakdown in administration procedure. Staff here are supposed to be moving long-term patients over to Fremantle Hospital, where some beds are empty. But that just hasn't been happening. I've talked to the administration for South Metropolitan uh, just this morning and we need to be a lot more aggressive in making sure that that occurs. Kim Hames says he'll apologise to the elderly patient. Michael Genovese, Nine News.